In today's collection close-up, we're uncovering the captivating tale behind our very own elephant in the room. This magnificent creature tells a story that spans decades, and it all started with a classic Hollywood icon. Let's rewind to 1955. Marilyn Monroe stole the show riding a live pink elephant in Madison Square Garden. Fast forward to 1974, fashion editor Diana Vreeland wanted to recreate this iconic moment in an exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. But there was one problem. Who do you call when you need a pink elephant? Andy Warhol, of course. Warhol didn't create this paper mache creature himself. Instead, he purchased it for Vreeland's romantic and glamorous Hollywood design exhibition at the Met's Costume Institute. The Met graciously thanked Warhol for loaning the elephant in the exhibition text. Almost a decade later, Warhol ushered the elephant out of storage and invited his friends Jean-Michel Basquiat and Victor Hugo to repaint it gray and brown. Unfortunately, they never finished the project, so this once show-stopping elephant required a revamp. Warhol and his business manager, Fred Hughes, decided Keith Haring was the man for the job. Originally a graffiti artist, Haring learned to paint with incredible speed. He adorned the elephant with his signature dancing figures in a single day. Today, it remains Haring's only known paper mache artwork. It stands proudly among Warhol's paintings from the 1970s and 80s as a compelling example of the power of art, friendship, and creativity.